Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to sketch the parent graph of reciprocal function, which has an equation f of x is equal to 1 over x. The other name for reciprocal function, they sometimes call it as the hyperbola function. So we are going to determine what is the shape of this function right here. This can be rewritten as well as y equals 1 over x if we want it in equation form. So how does it look like if we graph it on the x and y plane? So this is what we're going to do. I have prepared a table of values here. So we, these are the values for the x, and these will be the values for the y here. So what are we going to do is we fill this table in. So we're going to use a calculator for this. So I'll put the calculator up here so we see what's going on. So let's start with, again, remember that th this can be represented as y is equal to 1 over x. So let's start with 0. So let's have 1 over 0. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to plug each of these x values into this equation right here. So to start with zero. So that means that it's gonna be one divided by zero is undefined. It's not possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write this is undefined. Anything divided by zero is undefined. So that's that means it, it's an error right there. Now let's have one divided by one. So let's um, get that value, one divided by one is 1. So this value right here is 1. And then we go ahead and do the 2. We put in here 1 over 2. So 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. By the way, we are using here um, decimal, so it's faster to graph. You can have this in fraction, like 1 over 2, that should be fine, or 1 over 3, 1 over 4. But let's just have it in decimal, so it's easier for us to graph on the on this x and y plane. So we have 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.33. So it's just going to be a repeat. So I'm just going to go ahead and write a bar up on 3. So 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. So as you can see here, the values are actually getting smaller. So from 1, it gets half. It gets to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and let's see what's going on to 5. So 1 divided by 5. So it's going to be 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. So it's getting smaller and smaller. And 1 divided by 6 is it's getting smaller again. So that would be 0 0.167. So we can just go ahead and uh, round that off. Now let's see what's going to happen if we continue to increase the value of x. So let's have 1 divided by 10. So it becomes smaller now. So from 0 0.2, it goes to 0 0.1. What about 1 divided by 100? We're expecting this to be smaller. And it is smaller, 0 0.01. What about 1 divided by 1,000? And it should be smaller than that. So it gets really smaller and smaller. It becomes closer to 0. That means there's there had been a lot of zeros for this. If you divide a million for this, that would be a 0 0.00001. So that would be a lot of, um, a lot of zeros after that. So the value is going to get smaller and smaller as we increase the value of x. Now let's graph this one right here on this um, graph that we have over here. So at 0, so if x, so again, this is the x and this is the uh, y value. So if the x is 0, it's undefined, so we can't graph it. And then if x is 1, so it's going to be on 1. So if x is 1, it's 1. And then if x is Two, then it's going to be 0 0.5, so it's going to be halfway. If x is 3, it's going to be at 0 0.3, so it's going to get closer and closer to uh, 0. And then um, 4 is going to be at 0 0.25, so a quarter, a quarter of that part, whole part right here. And then uh, 5 would be at 0 0.2, so it, get, it gets closer and closer to uh, 0. Um, 6, it's going to be at 0 0.1. And then we have uh, figured out that 10 would be 0 0.1, so somewhere really close to uh, 0. So then this is the shape of the graph. So let me use a different color of um, pen for this so we can um, see that differently. So this is the shape of that side. Now we are interested to figure out what are the values if it's a negative. So it's pretty much the same value, but instead it's going to be a negative. It's going to be the opposite. So in this case right here, instead of um, 1, so this would be a negative 1. It's 
7. So it's pretty much they're the same numbers, but instead it's going to be negative on the other way. So if we graph this, we start with x is negative 1. It's going to be a negative 1, so this is the dot. And then if x is um, negative 2, it's going to be at negative 0 0.5, so it's going to be halfway. And then if it's negative 3, it's going to be um, negative 0 0.33. So it's pretty much the same thing. It's just the opposite of this. So it's going to get closer to 0 right there. And then 0 0.25 for 4. And then 0 0.24, um, uh, 5. So it's going to be up here. It's really get closer to uh, 0. And then uh, 6 would be a 0 0.16. So it gets closer. And then we know that 1 divided by um, 10 is 0 0.1. So this is a negative 0 0.1. So it should be somewhere there. So as you can see here, the graph is going to form a curve that gets closer and closer to zero, but will never get to zero. So it's not gonna touch the x-axis. So this is the first part. Now the thing here is that we don't know what is the shape of the graph. We cannot connect this, because others are gonna think, oh, I'm just gonna connect these two dots together. That's not the way how we do it. It doesn't work that way. So we need to figure out what is the shape, what's going on. We know that um, since this, is, this part right here is undefined, so then we can go ahead and um, write a line that goes through this here. This is, there's a line here, so I'm gonna make a line, which is this um, line right here. So I will create this line. So this is the line which is undefined because that's at zero. So undefined means there's no value, it cannot touch it. And so, we have to figure out what's going on in between this. What what happens from zero? Uh, what happens from point one all the way to point nine? What happened to the negative point one to negative point nine? And then what happened to um, neg uh, positive point one to positive point? That's what's, what's going on here. It's because since we can't connect it, so I am going to break this graph open. So I, we will add more values here, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way to 1 here. So I'm going to break this open to see so that we can get the value and we can grab it over here. So I'll break this open. I break it open and gave uh, more rooms for 0 0.1 all the way to 0 0.9 before it gets to 1. So originally we had this already and we graphed it already. But again, we are interested on the shape of the graph from here going to zero. Again, zero was undefined, so we're good with that. But what's going on in between the point one to point nine? So what's going on with the graph? So what I did is I, I, I gave room for those values. So we're going to determine the value for those. Again, we use a calculator up here. So we're going to start with um, point one. So again, the, uh, the equation that we have is y, I mean, y equals one over x. And this will be the x that we have to, uh, we do, that we already did the x from one to six. Then we go from point one to point nine. So that's going to be one divided by point one. So one, so that's going to be one divided by point one is 10. So this value right here is 10. And then we go uh, one divided by point two is 5 and then 1 divided by 0.3 is 3.33 and then 1 divided by 0.4 is 2.5 and then we so we're dividing 1 divided by uh, 0.5 is 2 so it's, it's getting um, smaller now 1 divided by uh, 0.6 is 1.67 and then 1 divided by 0 0.7 is 1.43, 1 1.43 1 here. And then that's 1 divided by 0 0.8 is 1.25. So it's getting smaller. And then 1 divided by uh, 0.9 is 1.11. So it's 1.11 right here. Now, since they have the same value up here, but it's a, it's a negative uh, uh, version, so then we can go ahead and just copy these values here, uh, but it's going to be the negative versions. So then from here, we're ready to sketch the graph. So we start with uh, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 is close to 0, is 10. So we go all the way up to 10 right here. So that's this part right here. 0 0.2 
is going to uh, uh, 5. So the y value is 5. So 0 0.2 would be 5. So somewhere around here. 0 0.3 is 3.33. So 0 0.3 is 3.33. Um, so that should be somewhere around here. And then uh, 0 0.4 is... 2.5, so 0 0.4 would be 2.5, somewhere here, and 0 0.5 is 2, so halfway would be 2, so it's going to be up here, and then 0 0.6 is 1.6, so 0 0.6 would be 1.6, so somewhere around here, and then um, 0 0.7 is 1.4, so 0 0.7 is 1.4, and then uh, 0 0.8 is one uh, 1.25, so that's going to be 1.25, so it's going to get closer, and then um, 0 0.9 is um, 1.11, so it's going to be here. So this means that we can continue the shape of the graph up there. So this is, we can, uh, again, we can put an arrowhead. That means it goes forever. It goes to infinity. But this is the shape of the uh, graph on this side. So as you can see, this uh, this end or this graph is going to get closer and closer to zero, but it will never touch it because once it, it can't touch it because this uh, value that we have here, the broken line that I draw, is like a, uh, a wall. It cannot get through the wall. It can't even touch the wall. So it gets closer and closer to it, but can never uh, touch it. Now let's see the the opposite side. So we start with negative point 0.1. So negative point 0.1 is um, right here. So negative point 0.1 would go all the way to negative 10. So it's going to be here. And then uh, point 0.2 is um, negative 5. So point 0.2 is negative 5 right here. And then point 0.3 is 3.33. So it's going to be here. So 3.33 down here. And then uh, 0.4 is 2.5. So 0.4 is 2.5 right here. And then 0.5 is 2. So halfway would be 2 here. And then we have um, 0.6 is 1.67. So 1.67 should be somewhere around here. And then 0.7 is 1.43. And then, so that means they get they get to connect. So this would uh, connect this other uh, branch that we have right there. So this is the shape of the parent graph of a reciprocal function, which is f of x is equal to 1 over x. Now, there are special names that we need to uh, uh, remember in this kind of um, function first. Again, this line that I draw in orange right here is a line which cannot have a value because if x is 0, this line, then it's undefined. That means this line only gets closer and closer to this broken line. This is like a wall. It gets closer and closer to it, but it will never touch it because it will become, again, it will become undefined. Well, this other side right here, it gets closer and closer to this line, again, with this wall, but it never touches it or it will never get through it. It will never get through this line. There's a special name for this, which we call as the asymptote. So this is an asymptote. An asymptote is a line where the graph gets closer and closer to it so it gets closer and closer to it but it will never touch it or it will never get through it now there is another asymptote that we can draw here which is on this line which is the x-axis so this is another asymptote right here this is the horizontal asymptote so uh, we can draw another line right here this is again another asymptote so I'm just going to label this. So again, going through this graph right here. So this graph from 1 is going to get closer and closer to the x-axis, but it will never touch it. It will never touch it because that, that's an asymptote. Again, an asymptote is like a wall. This graph can never get through this wall, and it can never get through it or not even touch it. It cannot touch it because if it will, if it does touch it, then it will become undefined. So it's not possible. It's not going to touch it. So these are the asymptotes here. So we have two of them. So this one here is the 
horizontal asymptote, and the other one right here is the vertical asymptote. Now let's determine what is the domain for this graph or for this function. As you can see, again, if we, uh, if we go back to the definition of domain, domain are the values of the x. So everything will have an x value except zero. So it's not gonna get to zero. So that means all real numbers, so that's how we represent this in math. Instead of writing the word all real numbers, we just represent it that way. All real numbers except zero. That's the domain. So the domain would be all real numbers, so all numbers right here on the x, except for zero. Because that's an asymptote, it cannot touch it, it's like a wall, it can't get through it. The range is, range means the y value, so that means all of the y values, so these are all y values, except zero so it's it can't touch it because that's an asymptote so that means the range here is all real numbers except zero again the the domain is pretty much the same thing all real numbers except zero because it cannot touch it because that's the asymptote right there so this is the shape of the reciprocal function that's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!